grab it off of a branch. Then we want to find that number and then get that index. The get nodes here are also very important. So if I just drag off of a new copy of that array, you have two options. You have copy and reference. A reference is very similar to a cast where you can actually make changes directly to that array. So you can drag off and add a number to, to a, one of the entries in the array rather than using a set array element node. Uh, but the get a copy node you cannot make any changes to. So you can use it as a starting point. So for example, you can get the index of three and add one to it. But then this doesn't automatically go and change the array. You need to set the array element back. To get that to work. Another important node, which is a new one for UE5, is the random array element node. Uh, so you used to be able to grab a random element purely by doing it the long way, uh, which was test array, and you wanted to get a copy or reference. In this case, we're going to use a copy. You're going to use the final or the last index, which gives you the last available index. A random integer in range from zero to the last index. And that would be a random entry in the node. But now with UE5, there is a random array item node which condenses it all down for us. And with that information, you should be able to do anything you want with arrays. So uh, it's a nice quick video today, but uh, if you liked that, then obviously we'll continue with the basic series. So thank you guys, and uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.